Hello everybody, so in this video I'm gonna show you how to download install continuity mod for Minecraft Java. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here all you want to do is go to your search bar and search up mod Rainfaxo, just enter and then you'll find modern.com, just click on modern and then you'll be on the modern homepage. So from there, all you want to do is go to discover content on the top of the website, and then you want to go to mods. From there, all you want to do is go to search mods, and you want to go ahead and search up continuity. So it is continuity. And here, you'll find the mods name here, continuity, just click on it, and then you'll be sent to this page. From there, all you want to do is go to versions, and now, all you want to do is go to game versions and you want to choose what Minecraft version you want to play. I'm going to choose the latest one here, so 1.21.5. And from there, all you want to do is go ahead and find Fabric. We'll be using Fabric for today's tutorial and your version name. So from there, just click the green download button. And now all you want to do is get the dependencies, which are in the version name itself of the mod. So just click on that. And here we see that we need Fabric API. So just click on Fabric API. And here you'll be sent to the Fabric API homepage on Modern. And all you want to do is click the versions button. Here you want to go to game versions and you want to choose what Minecraft version you chose. I chose 1.21.5. And here just find your version name, so your Minecraft version name, Fabric, and click the green download button. And from there, you have everything from modern to actually use continuity but if you want to add some extra resource packs now this is extra you'll be able to go to discover content and go to resource packs as this mod uses connected textures you can just simply search up continuity and here you'll find a bunch of resource packs that you can go ahead and use to try out continuity so if i just go ahead and get this one for example deep origins overlays you just click the name of any one of these resource packs here and here you go to versions then you go to a version like so so we can go to game versions and choose the closest version or just this version in most cases it doesn't matter as much as actual mod and dependencies but just go ahead and go to game versions and choose your same version or a closed version and here all you want to do is just click the green down button and here you have everything from modern itself so now all you want to do is just go to a new tab and you want to go ahead and search up for fabric minecraft to actually use mods for minecraft so search up fabric minecraft here just enter and you'll find fabricmc.net just click on fabric and then you'll be sent to the fabric homepage from there all you want to do is click the blue download button and then you want to click the blue download for windows button here and now you have fabric installer you have a resource pack if you want and you have the dependency plus continuity so here all you want to do is just go ahead and minimize or close your web browser and you want to go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder here all you want to do is double click the fabric installer and once you have this window just go to the minecraft version and choose what minecraft version you chose for these two here so i'll just choose the latest one again and here just do install okay and close and now all you want to do is go to the minecraft launcher from there you'll be able to add the two mods to the mods folder and the resource pack to the resource packs folder if you have one so here all you want to do is once you have fabric loader go to the installation tab here then hover over fabric loader and go to the folder icon here all you want to do is find mods and now you want to double click the folder and once you're here you want to go to downloads select continuity and fabric api and copy them then go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click paste and now once everything is like this just go to dot minecraft and go to resource packs here you do the same thing for any resource pack you might have so we go to downloads you select your resource pack you copy it then you go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click paste and you now have your resource pack in the resource packs folder as well Okay, so once you have all of this, just go to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and click play. And here you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, so once we have this Minecraft open, 
you can go to a single player world a multiplayer world or a realm if you want i'll just go to a single player world to try out continuity so basically here we have a minecraft world and here if we go ahead and go to our resource packs folder directly so options resource packs here you see that we have everything so these are the default ones which come with continuity and here you have the one which we added as well so for example here we have default connected textures we can activate this so if we click the play it goes to uh, selected from available and here just click done and now all you want to do is just go ahead and try it out so if we get ourselves some glass like so you'll notice that it is connected together and we don't have this line here again without the resource pack it looks like this so like so it looks like this without the resource pack okay and if we have our custom resource pack so this one here that we downloaded just click play it might tell us that it is an older version just do yes it will bring it to selected and click done so here all you want to do is simply go ahead and try out this resource pack again this one's a bit different so it works in this method so for example if we have crimson here or if we have stone if i can find some stone like so and put it here as you can see it will just be connected so that's kind of how they made it look so if we have like this for example you can have some connected textures and it looks pretty cool if you have the glass here you can see it's not connected what you can do is go to this one here default connected textures you can click play make sure it stays on top of this one and you can do done and now you're gonna have both this and also this as well as you can see so yeah that is how we download and install continuity mod for minecraft java so if you liked this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one Bye.